Welcome back to Switched to Linux. So we're gonna do a little playlist here on a couple of videos looking at the major desktop environments. So Linux itself is uh, essentially Linux, you know, and when you boil it down, there's two main branches of Linux and then different distros have been built on top of those and some distros are their own thing and some distros are built on top of those and and uh, basically what you have is a lot of variation which at the fundamental core might boil down to what apps are installed, what themes are installed, what icons are installed, things like that. But really when you look at Linux and you look at the differences between the Linux on the quick surface looking at the system, which is what your typical user looks at, it's the desktop environment that really defines what your Linux system is for you as far as how you interface. Because most of us don't jump into the terminal all the time. The sysadmins guys will, and I love the terminal, I love what it can do, but ultimately I'm a web de developer and a web designer, and so you know I'm in the graphical user interface, and so I wanna have a good graphical user interface, and most people do, and that's really what the desktop environment is, is it's a, it's a graphical user interface placed on top of the Linux system. And so we're gonna have a look at uh, any major uh, any major desktop environment that, that has a decent following, we're going to have a look at. So, you know, the major desktop environments, we have, uh, we have GNOME and, and KDE and we have Mate and we have the Unity and we have the Cinnamon. So there's a lot of different desktop environments out there and they all have a lot of their major benefits. Um, and, and these guys are all just a matter of preference. Um, KDE is very nice in, in that you can customize it more than anything else. You can put neat widgets all over the place. Um, I like the cinnamon inside of Linux Mint because the cinnamon gives me a layout and a feel that's much like Windows and it gives, gives me that ultimate productivity in how I work. If you happen to be used to the Mac type interface, a GNOME 3 might be what good for you because it it gives you the same application launchers and a similar look and a feel as, as the Mac system does. And then there's the Pantheon, which looks at, at integration with applications and things. So there's so many desktop environments out there that, that you could pick from. And uh, we're just gonna have a look at all of these major desktop, uh, desktop environments so that you can choose the environment that matches your work and productivity system. But it's also a good thing sometimes to just jump out and have a look at the other desktop environments yourself just so that you get a good chance to, to know what else is out there and maybe you might even find a new flow of work habit that, that is even more productive for you than it is now. So this is Tom and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.